Okay, this is going to be a video on the Chrome OS from Google, as you can see here. Um, if you if you don't know, um, a couple days ago Google came out and they released their plans for um, the Chrome OS. They're giving away like twenty thousand or something, maybe like sixty thousand, somewhere around there. But like just a bunch of their notebooks, which are really netbooks, but I'll get into that. Um, but yeah, they're going to give out thousands, like thousands of these to try out. Um, you can go sign up, but it's probably really unlikely you'll get picked. <laughs> so, but anyway, it can't hurt. So, um, right here, I've, um, Mac OS X, you can, there's a program called Parallels, which is a virtual machine. And with Parallels, there's an option where you can just download the Chrome OS right to here. So I did that, and so this is going to be kind of like a walkthrough of the OS, sort of, slash my thoughts. Uh, if you look back at my previous videos, probably from about close to a year ago, I'd say, I did a Chrome OS kind of walkthrough, but it was a lot less coded than, like, than this one is that one didn't really have any features this one has a lot more now so I'm gonna go ahead and get started first I'm gonna come down here to the settings and as you can see here um, I'm gonna set this to about the settings of what I'd say a netbook are so we'll say we'll give it two cores and a gig of RAM I think that's pretty fair um, especially just for an operating system that's gonna use mostly the internet that's probably around the specs they'll have and that's probably that's one of the reasons I think that really it's a netbook but Google calls it a notebook um, also, the one that they're gonna give out, I think it's called the CR48. Um, it doesn't even, it doesn't have an optical drive either. So, I really do believe that it's a netbook and not a notebook. But I think Google is kind of saying it's a notebook, maybe so they get more people to look at it. Because a lot of people now, like I think netbooks just had a quick phase. Like it was like, all right, netbooks are cool. Uh, and the next day you woke up, why did I buy this? So, um, but I think I think Google's calling it a notebook. Just that's because. They don't want people to think that that it's just another netbook. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm gonna go ahead one gig of RAM and two cores, and we're gonna go ahead and boot it up. All right, so here we have this. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. So you just use your uh, Google login credentials. And it'll sign in, and here you go. I'm now running Chrome OS. Alright, so this is what it's going to look like. It looks a lot like Google Chrome. Um, here's the browser, right here. As you can see, they look very similar. Uh, it's almost identical, you know, that's why it's called Chrome OS, but it's a whole operating system. And the thing that really defines that would be this right here this little guy. That's kind of like your start menu in Windows. Um, kind of like your applications folder on OS 10. This is where you start. That's where all the applications are. So a lot of them are just um, kind of shortcuts, I guess, to different things like, for instance, I'll go to YouTube. The YouTube app really just takes you to YouTube.com. That's all it does. It's just basically like a shortcut. So here I am on YouTube. Um, you do have Flash. It's built right in, so there's no need to do that. You don't have to re-download it. So there's, there's YouTube. Uh, there's also different things like Gmail that obviously just takes you to gmail.com. It's not like a, its own app. Um, Google Calendar, Google Docs, these are all web pages. If you go to the Twitter app, it just takes you to twitter.com. So really, um, you could probably just add your stuff. I haven't even tried. So yeah, as you can see right here, it does say Get More, but you can't do anything with it. So right here, UI is under Development. Um, let's see what else there is. There's Contacts. Just takes to your little Google Doc, little um, extension there for Google Docs. So really, that's all it is. Um, it's very familiar if you use Google Chrome, but even if you don't use Google Chrome, uh, it is my primary web browser, by the way. But like I was saying, if you don't use Google Chrome, you will get used to it very easily. Um, there's really not much more to say about it, but I do think that I would love to give it a try. I'd love to use it just for about like anywhere from two or three days to a week just to see um, how often I really do use the internet because um, Google says that like this is right from Google that they, they said that most people don't use a computer without an internet connection and while I believe that's true for a lot of people I don't think it's true for most people um, especially gamers like while many gamers do play online not all of them do like me myself I'd rather play offline than online but also this isn't gamed at or, or um, aimed at gamers so um, just for kind of like a smartphone, but not really, um, just kind of like a smartphone kind of usage, 
I do think this would work great because you're always online. Um, it's supposed to be like a really fast um, notebook since this doesn't run much like um, RAM. It doesn't need much to run. You should be able to open it up and just be connected in like a second. Um, it's kind of going MacBook Air here. But now um, that's one of the things that in, in my mind it's kind of like a MacBook Air versus this. Like they're both kind of their netbooks but one is more... I don't know. I don't, like, I don't want to say network or netbooks are dead, but um, Apple also has the iPad, so I think that's what they're trying to do. Google, um, even with their Android OS and their Chrome OS, I think they're going to release them both. Like these, they're both Google's operating systems, so Google is going to have them out at the same time. And I think by doing that, they're going to see which one people buy more, and they're going to ditch the other one and push put either Android on everything or Chrome OS on everything, because well, uh, in my head, it's like, why else would they have two operating systems? So if they could just have all their smartphones have run Chrome OS, that'd probably be better, or if the, or vice versa. If they could have all their netbooks and all their phones run Android, then that'd be easier. So I think this is more just kind of like an experiment right now. It doesn't look like it'd be that hard to code. Um, it's just really a basic interface with basic apps. Um, it's not much more than that. So... Um, for Google, I think this is just kind of like a fun experiment to see which one people buy more. Um, I don't think there's really much more to say about it. Um, like I said, I'd love to give it a try, but it'll never replace OS X for me, never ever. Um, OS X, you know, you, I need apps on my computer. I have edit videos. I do all this other kind of stuff. I know, photo editing and everything like that. So yeah, I really need to have some dedicated apps rather than just shortcuts to things on the internet. But um, as you should know, this isn't aimed at everybody. This is um, just aimed at people that want to spend, you know, two, three hundred dollars, and just get something that they could take with them, and just go on the internet with, check their email, and be watch some videos, and that's it. But this thing is claiming to get eight hours of battery life on um, their netbooks, the CR48. So if you could do eight hours of this kind of stuff in one day, you know, that'd be great. So um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or anything else like that. You can go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. I'm at CPU Kid. Uh, go ahead and leave a response in this video, video response, comment, whatever you'd like to do. So, um, thanks for bearing with me for this time, and I'll see you in my next video.